Here we have a zero invoice. We're going to use full speed to provide subtotals and a grand total in the quantity column. We will subtotal here and here. As you can see by the subtotal items used in the item column, we'll also have a grand total on this line. Before running the macro, the cursor has to be positioned to the right location. So we click on the first row in the quantity column. Now I'll press the hot key and let the macro run. And as you can see, we have a subtotal for the first two items, a subtotal for the next three items, and a grand total for the entire invoice.